name's Eric Hughes and I'm with Image Design, which is a sustainable residential design firm in Grand Rapids. I specialize in sustainable green zero energy homes and this happens to be one of them. I'm going to explain this home is a passive solar home where the home is set up on the east-west axis so the main part of the house is facing south and we've designed the overhangs so at the summertime the sun will the overhangs will shade the windows about right here and during the winter as the solstice changes the sun will actually come into the home and the home will absorb the heat from the sun so during the summer we shade the heat during the sun so it really helps with the inside of the home with thermal mass and the floors and stuff so during the winter all the sun will heat the floors and retain that at night, then radiate back out. Then during the summer, we shade those same floors and they stay cool because they're concrete and stuff and we don't really need air conditioning and different things like that. So a passive solar home can actually heat and cool the home for free just by the way you place it on your site. So to me, every homeowner should think about the, the way you place your home on the site and how it can save you money. And so many people don't think about those things and we think about that with every home that we design. So we also, this home is also what we call a zero step home. It's going through zero step certification. The home has five entrances, all gonna be zero step, which means that someone in a wheelchair can enter the home in all five different points. Here is, a patio area we're going to have and we're going to have a patio two patios one coming off the screen porch one coming off the dining area and we're going to have some green space in between but they're all going to be set up so someone can come out and enjoy the patio in a wheelchair and different things so in a little bit i'll show you some different zero step entrances every room in the house is zero step every bathroom is zero step there's not a single room in the house that someone in a wheelchair can't go in the home is an insulated concrete form home, which are called ICF. So there's like styrofoam blocks and they stack all the way up like styrofoam blocks are like Legos and we create the house out of it and we pour concrete down on the inside of them and they're super insulated and they're fire rated. So we got like a four hour fire rating on the home. This is gonna be our main entrance to the home. It's gonna be a zero step home. So we're gonna have a sidewalk that tapers down here and turns over to the apron of the garage. It's gonna all be zero step and it's gonna gently ramp up to the home so someone in a wheelchair can easily get into the home. And then from the garage, we got this breezeway and if it's raining or snowing, someone in a wheelchair can get through, but it's an airlock. So anything bad, exhaust or anything in the garage won't get into the home because it's got, it's, pressurized negatively and we can keep any VOCs or any bad things from the garage from getting in the home and it creates a nice way for you know someone in a wheelchair to get in. The garage is actually 24 feet deep, 30 feet wide so it's designed extra wide so if they have to have a van come in with a lift we're able to put the lift down and still have room to move around and someone to get out of the van and be able to get into the house through our zero step entrances. So here, here inside the home, we have um, concrete floors throughout. They're polished concrete floors and they're, they're, we're designed so someone with a wheelchair can travel throughout the home without any barriers or any having any slippage or anything. So the whole home has these polished concrete floors in them. Also in the home, we have a walk-in tub, which is nice because a handicapped person can transfer into here. We're able to shut it and lock it and give them a, they're able to take a bath and everything. So it's real nice for, you know, someone with a disability. And even though it's real, it's got a two inch drain on it, so it drains really fast. So you'd think it'd take a while to drain, but it, it really drains fast. and it's a nice option for someone, to, an elderly person, to take a bath, able to get in and out without falling or hurting themselves. We built this home using insulating concrete form walls called ICFs. They are two layers of foam, like a Lego block, 
They stack just like a Lego block, and in between the two layers of foam, there is reinforced concrete. This becomes the structure of the home, the insulation of the home, the air and the vapor barriers of the home. People like to do these because they're extremely energy efficient and very quiet. They're airtight, so they prevent the infiltration of pests, of dust and allergens, of air, of moisture, and they're disaster resilient. Uh, concrete's pretty fireproof, and it's pretty hard for something to be forced through. Uh, they've also withstood direct hits from EF5 tornadoes. Uh, once the ICF wall is poured, the drywall can be fastened directly to it and siding on the other side. This is an insulating concrete form block. These are the two thicknesses of foam. Total there are 23 and then uh, concrete is go goes in here. Reinforcing can clip into place here. The, you can see there's a nice interlock here where they attach together like Lego blocks. And you can just see the top here of the studs. That's where the fastening happens for the siding and the drywall. We use a European style window and door here that are tilt and turn. They have a lot of neat features. One of them is that the, there are three seals, in fact. A typical door has one. Three seals, again, keeps out air, keeps out pests, keeps out dust and moisture, and keeps out noise. Another neat feature of them is that they incorporate triple pane glass for high efficiency and greater comfort. And the really neat thing I like about them is that they tilt and turn. So they open just like a regular door. But another neat thing they do is tilt for ventilation. In the mechanical room here, we see the tubing coming up from the floor. This tubing goes throughout the whole floor in a grid. And since we're doing exposed, uh, polished concrete floors, we're gonna use that floor as the heater for the home. So heated water will run through all these tubes and keep the entire floor at a very even, warm temperature to keep the home warm. All right, one of the other things we wanna talk about here uh, is how we detail the ceiling. We wanna air seal at the ceiling level too, not just the walls, not just the windows, but the ceiling. So we've, we've put up an air barrier that prevents moisture and air from moving through. And under that, there's a, a chase built in the two by fours and all the wiring, plumbing, and HVAC runs in that chase. Now we use a special tape to seal that as well as our windows. This tape is pressure activated. So after we put the tape on, we use this to put pressure on and then the bond grows stronger and stronger with time. We have prevented with this air barrier 139 penetrations through it that normally would have leaked air and moisture, allergens and dust, and your energy dollars and your comfort away. One of the problems with conventional stud framing is that everywhere you have a stud or a series of studs, you can't get insulation. We've eliminated that problem with using a sheathing like this that has insulation built into it. This is outside of all the studs. So wherever there's a header or a stud, there's still insulation. This sheathing also incorporates the vapor barrier and moisture barrier into it in one product. So we've built an airtight home and airtight and moisture proof walls. But what do we do when we have to get something through it like a plumbing spigot or wiring for an outlet? We wanna make sure that's airtight and watertight as well. So we use this product it's available in various sizes for different size uh, penetrations, and it's sealed to the wall and keeps it dry and uh, airtight. Key to getting this right is being there at the right time before the plumber comes and puts the spigot through, and then you can't seal it. We were thinking about moving back to Michigan from Minnesota to be closer to family, and had long conversations about what did we really want our last house to be? And we got really fascinated with how could we make our house as energy efficient as possible and as comfortable as possible and also that anybody that no matter what ability that they had, they could come stay with us or live with us or visit us. So with those things in mind, we started looking for how we're we gonna achieve it. So it was a long process. We um, ended up finding 
um, the insulated concrete form as a, as a building process and started there, found our architect through that process and then went back to the um, contractor um, for our general contracting piece. And so as we worked on the design of the house, um, we just, you know, the, the process was really about talking about what our values were around building and what we wanted um, out of the house and, and what we didn't want. And so we said, you know, we want a small house or a relatively small house. And we want one that has three bedrooms, has three bathrooms, and every single room has to be accessible. Um, and with that comes compromises and, and cleverness and, and things. And, and ultimately, we ended up with what we've got now that we're building. So we're thrilled. We're thrilled with all of the things that we've done, um, the research that we've done and, and turned other people on to. Um, we're excited about our windows, our special European style windows. So some of the favorite details of the house that we've done is our t uh, European style tilt and turn windows. They, um, they tilt in from the top and allow fresh air in. So you can have the windows open when it's raining and still be getting fresh air in the house. And they open um, like a casement window to the inside. Um, and they are incredibly efficient um, and, and tight, and which is what we're looking for because every time you put window in a house, you lose an R, your R factor. And so we get the compromise of, we get a lot of light in the house, which is important as you get older um, and you're sensitive to the loss of light. And we get just beautiful windows and beautiful efficiency. So we're thrilled about that. So some of the things that make that, the, those windows so efficient is the, the framework itself is um, are bigger than what you might necessarily see on standard windows. And by the, man, by the way they're manufactured, they help br uh, keep the bridging of the uh, cold and, and hot air going back and forth. On top of that, with using the triple pane, there, it's extra thick. There's an, uh, the distance between the windows is, is about five eighths of an inch. And then you put your, your films on them so that they um, allow for the south facing windows, it allows a solar gain in the winter time. And on the north facing windows, you, you put it so that they don't um, uh, lose, lose the, the power. The other thing that was really important to us was the accessibility of the house and part of that means that we needed a floor that was um, smooth and no breaks in it and so what we decided that we wanted radiant floor heating and polished concrete floors and I'm just thrilled with how beautiful the floor is um, and it's just concrete and a lot of rock and a lot of polishing and it's not slippery. It's if we get tired of it or we need a little more warmth, we could throw a rug on it. Um, but this way, we, any, there's no tripping hazards. It's just, it's just beautiful and, and it's the last floor, no replacing the floors. 